Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing uh, a uh, forecast on what's going to be happening for Saturday's event uh, for the uh, mid, uh, what is it? that would be for the central USA, uh, that would be for Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, parts of Texas, and for um, Kansas. We gotta watch out, this is an interesting severe threat on Saturday. But right now, let's get to our uh, current radar. Oops, that's my tornado drawing. Sorry. Um, let's get to our current radar. As you can see, we do have uh, some rain in and around the Great Lakes, uh, also for Michigan, and um, also for in what is this called? Uh, just for the that area, the mid uh, um, the Midwest. You're gonna be seeing that uh, Illinois. There we go, Illinois. Uh, but what we're going to see today, we're actually going to see a possible bow segment come through Tennessee and then die out um, down there in Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, let's get to our current temperatures in the USA. Uh, we are fairly cold here in the part of the uh, eastern U.S. Um, after that cold front came through yesterday, giving us some severe weather. We also are cold in the mountains, of course. Uh, we are 58 in New York City. 64 in DFW, 64 as well at, in Tesla, also 50 in Kansas City, 50 in Davenport, and we are 50 as well in Chicago. Let's get to our current, sorry, let's get to our current national weather, our NWS um, warnings, watches, advisories outlook um, and you can see we do have an area that has been under a red flag warning for quite some time um, for at least two weeks now they've been under that we also have some wind advisories for um, the great the for the western plains and for California Nevada and Oregon uh, weather uh, special weather statements for fire potentials here. Also for Colorado, we have a weather special statement for the fires over there. Um, uh, we also have some dense fog advisories and a lot of river flood warnings uh, here. We also have a frost advisory for upstate New York. And then we have um, special Marines warnings and it uh, looks like a Marine weather advisory. And you can see it all right here. Special weather statement, all the way to air quality alert. Now let's get to our SBC forecast. Uh, from me, uh, today we won't have the tornado wind and hail outlook. Um, I have to. I'm. We're actually getting rid of that uh, for today because we have. A lot of things to talk about uh, but you see we have a marginal risk for that line that will move through and then weaken out uh, and then we have a risk for Florida for some storms and I even put a marginal risk over here for the mountains we're actually gonna see some storms that have some supercell uh, like on them so we have to watch out for those storms. now let's get to the first model of the day snap 3 km uh, model Around pivotal weather, I love pivotal weather. Um, weather bells, ah, it's all right. Uh, but let's get to pivotal weather for right now. You can see storms do fire up by um, tonight. Um, no, by Friday night uh, and into Saturday morning. We actually have uh, some individual cells. That's the threats that we have to watch out for. They could turn tornado. Look at this one up here. It looks like it's hooking. Uh, yeah, so we gotta watch out for these storms because they are turning, they will turn severe. Uh, we go to the next um, time frame. You can see this one down here has actually been here for a long time. And that's something that we have to watch out for, the flooding threat and for the um, severe threat. You can see over here, this becomes mainly a line at this point or a potential line at this point. Um, and then we also have some active thunderstorms over here in the New Mexico area and then some thunderstorms in Oklahoma and Kansas that we gotta watch out for. Next time frame, this is about midday. Uh, this is about, sorry, this is about uh, 10 a.m. Um, on uh, Saturday. 
you see storms are starting to spark and storms are starting to uh, weaken over here but you can see like something's going on here something is happening and that's what we have to watch out for you see these individual cells right there that is what we have to watch out for you can even see right there we have some heavy rain and the, this is our main problem here this is where we could have the worst weather we go to the next one you can see how sorry for that you can see how storms just blow up and um, this is going to be a damaging wind isolated tornado threat and a uh, hail threat now um, let's get to the next time frame you can see we're still talking about severe storms and this is where we want to look at for the worst I mean we could have any storms spark right in here and then they could turn severe but I think that this whole entire like isolated line will be the worst threat and you see by Saturday night the storms move off into Missouri and then they die out by the wee hours of Sunday uh, so if you have Mother Day, Mother, Mother's Day plans you might want to stay indoors maybe uh, go out in midday too you see storms do come back into the area over here again we gotta watch out for that these storms we also have to watch out for and then now we're gonna go to our um, our stable basically environment here and just give me one second alrighty Sorry about that, but now we move into our um, Cape values for Friday, uh, sorry, Saturday, and this is where we have our pressure, our low, uh, our actually, this is where we have our cold front, it is uh, basically all, all the way down there, um, and then we, of course, we have the warm front up there, and then turning into a warm cold front right about there so actually down more south but that's okay this is what we have to watch out for now I put my marker here over here so you really don't have to look at that uh, it does say zero joules per kilogram but over here we're talking about one um, about a thousand and five hundred joules per kilogram uh, and then it actually even strengthens as it go to the next one um, oh this is Okay, this is up for never mind. Uh, but then it does die out by Friday night, and then it will ramp back up as we get a, another uh, low come through. Now this is our middle. Um, this is our mid-level lapse rate, um, and you can see right here. I run it down a little bit. Right here, we have a yellow turning. In, I mean, a yellow, a purple turning into a white. And that means we have energy right here for very strong thunderstorms. I'm going to go another um, time frame. You can see we have this big area. If any thunderstorm starts to bubble up here, we could be talking about multiple severe thunderstorm warnings. Um, and I'm going to go to the next time frame. Now, this is our uh, mid-level capes values and our most unstable you will see we have the low moving over here this is the low okay this is the low this will maybe I should do this so that you get a clear understanding and then it kind of does that again um, but this is the low up here we have Cape values upwards of six um, we have Cape values upwards of four. Um, um, at this point, we have Cape values up to four hundred. Sorry, not four hundred thousand. We could do forty-five hundred. Yeah. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, forty-five hundred. Especially right here, we could be talking about uh, possibly five thousand right there joules per kilogram, but. 4,500 is right through there. Any thunderstorm that does pop, they could turn severe or tornadic because we have very high cape in this area up to 4,000 
uh, joules per kilogram. It even goes into Nebraska. We might get some strong storms in Nebraska. Also over here, watch out if you're in Arkansas and some eastern Oklahoma. We also have this individual one that's in Kansas that we got to watch out for. This is by the time the storms start to fire up here along this line. And we could get some strong storms up here in Nebraska. By the time it moves, this is the next frame, by the time it moves over, uh, over here, you can see more, um, we have like gathering uh, some more um, Cape values. Now, this is our um, helicity values, our updraft helicity values. You can see they're generally low, um, but there will be... Um, we're going to have our uh, energy helicity values coming up, which is right here. We have so much energy right here and over here uh, with our mid-level uh, laps, uh, laps race, uh, rapes. Um, you can actually see right here, we have some white showing up, and that's not good. We could get storms that fire up and then turn tornadic or severe worn, and they can produce a lot of hail. Now, our mid-level lapse rates, um, with the ones over here, by the time it does move over here, we could be talking about a big hill maker in this area. So we got to watch out for the hail. We already have a significant by the SPC. I think it was somewhere over here. We have a significant of severe weather. And look how it just strengthens. We, we go into pink and then into magenta or, or burgundy. That is where we could be talking about big time hail, strong um, mid-level winds, and tornadoes could pop up. We also are going to go to the next one. Now, now I'm going to show you what storm um, uh, re, uh, uh, storm helicity values basically mean. It's basically a value that will give you an idea, an idea of the potential for storm updraft to rotate. This value doesn't take into an account storm mod or mood um, or storm coverage. So let me just so you have to use other pieces of information to access that, such as the bulk of uh, Richardson number. And we will go to that soon, but just as you can see, it even goes into Missouri. So we can have some tornadic storms um, over there. Now this is the bulk shear. My goodness. Look at that. This whole burgundy. That is a big burgundy right there. We could be talking about winds coming this way and then boom, right there, just coming up. Strong wind will be in this, and that gives us the threat for damaging winds. We also will have cold air aloft moving in. And when they go over the storms, that gives you the threat for damaging winds and some tornadoes. Once again, just coming right through with each other. That is just amazing to see. Uh, then even into the next frame, we actually grow in strength here. Uh, that's a little off, but we go in strength here. My goodness, that's like a worse than a burgundy. That is a white burgundy. Um, if you sh like, maybe if you uh wipe the burgundy off that's basically what you're gonna see it even moves into um M missouri and then look it even gets into illinois and even iowa so we can be talking about uh, a multi-day severe weather event now here is our uh mid-level cape values um i'm sorry not mid-level cape values Oh my goodness! This is our com our uh, what do you call those supercell compositivity. This is our supercell compositivity. You can see right here is where we have the best chance for supercells to form. Even into the next one, 
Uh, actually, that's the wrong one. So this is our super cell compositivity. And then the next one is actually our tornado risk, which is pretty low. But it does strengthen a little bit here. And then it kind of just weakens off. But uh, so, um, the wind aloft is uh, what we were talking about, especially looking back here. Look how strong of wind we could be talking about. That is some strong wind. So you want to be careful if you live in those areas. So that was, this is uh, basically what we're going to be doing a lot more all the way up to Saturday. Well, we're going to get more model runs, new model runs. we got to watch out for the storm. we got to really watch out for the storm. Like and subscribe now and so that you can get more uh, updates on severe weather. Also, like now so I can get into people's recommended feeds. We track storms. We track hurricanes. We track tornadoes, of course. We track every single thing from a general severe thunderstorm risk to a high risk. Watch out for these storms. Watch out for the possibility of strong to damaging winds and even the threat for some isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out. Comment down below, how do you think these storms will react? Do you think that they're going to strengthen really hard and then just die down? Or do you think we're really going to stay strengthened all the way to Mississippi, uh, not Mississippi, Missouri? Um, and also, comment down below when you think our next severe weather event will be. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>